Welcome to MMA FanCast. My name is Luke Payson, and I am honored to have back on the show. Cheyenne, welcome back. Yeah, thanks for having me. Always great to have you and sometimes your dog, Cash, on the show. <laughs> he's always the star of the show when he's on. Um, we're really excited. I'm really excited to have you back on the show because you've been on. But before I had the honor of calling your pro MMA debut fight, and you are on the show now to talk about your second pro fight that's coming up in just a couple weeks, August 5th. So I think it is two weeks away. Uh, two from, weeks from today. Two weeks from today. Live cage fights at the waterfront, too, and you're fighting uh, Bonnie Wagoner. And uh, tell me a little bit about what it feels like going into your second pro fight versus your first. Um, So with my second fight uh, as a pro, I have a little bit more of an idea of like what to expect as far as um, just everything really, but specifically like the biggest change is like the round time and like how I need to to um, pace those rounds to make sure that I perform my best, you know, throughout the whole thing. And, and I think that uh, just training, cause it's been a year since I was, I was able to fight last. So um, I, I, I really honed my, um, you know, like the pacing of those and like my new skills that I want to work as a pro um, because you do get to add a lot of new tools to your box whenever you turn pro. So um, I do feel, I feel more prepared for this one and I'm, I'm excited to do it. Well, that does give, uh, that, that does give a lot of excitement because it's been a year. Um, you've been adding, like you said, you've been adding those, those tools and working and working the timing in your, in your first fight, you had a lot of control and a lot of clinch work a lot of stuff that that is more of a pro level of course it's a it, it's a longer round uh for you what uh what is the most fun or exciting part of training uh mma specifically uh, mma generally but also the mat factory and i've seen on your facebook there's there's some group of uh female fighters that all train together i don't know if that's at the mat factory but it, it seems to be like once a week or something you get a whole bunch of female fighters together so tell us a little bit about training at the mat factory and whatever that female power group of training is. Yeah. All right. Um, so yeah, my favorite, well, my favorite part of training, which you, um, asked uh, initially, um, outside of the, like the relationships that you build with training, um, that's probably my favorite part, but, uh, I, I really enjoy, I enjoy jujitsu. I enjoy kickboxing. I endure wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and I, I like it all. I mean, I just like the the aspect of pushing myself every day and seeing, you know, if how much better I can get than I was yesterday. And then um and about the the ladies, we got our little our little uh, lady hammer group. Um yeah, we've since I've moved up here a couple of years ago, the amount of like women that that train together up here, um, it seems to really have increased and it seems like, well, especially like on Saturdays, the fighters will get together um, for sparring. So like Carly, Brittany, uh, me, um, there's a newer girl, Mason Deles has a, a newer a girlfriend named Sabrina. She's she's a new girl coming up, so she might have a fight sometime. And um, there's a few of us there. But then on Sundays, uh, all the jujitsu girls who, um, and there are a lot of girls who compete in jujitsu in this area. So um, that's really the day that I, all we all come together and kind of we'll do our shark tank rounds and everybody is really just there to work and push each other. Um, Isaac, make sure we all, we all, uh, we all max out our heart rates that day. <laughs> so, but it's been really good to have us all together on that Sunday for like a time that works for everybody. So that, that's the big photo I've been seeing. The oh, Sunday yeah. That's okay. Sunday morning practice. <laughs> that, is, that is exciting. And speaking of Sunday morning practice, um, you can tell I, I try to remember a lot off people's Facebooks. It's a way to make these interviews more exciting. Um, <laughs> Sunday of last week, uh, Gray Maynard visited the uh, the mat factory for the Sunday morning. And I, I saw that you got to take a, a photo with him. What was it? What was it like having him there as kind of, I guess, a guest visitor? <laughs> instructor or, you know, that's just how uh, your head coach, Isaac Greeley, is everybody he meets ends up becoming really <laughs> a big fan of him and a big fan of the Matt Factory, even his, even his competitors. So that's it. So what was it like? We'll back up. What was it like uh, the the two 247 fights in a row uh, last week? Because we're just a week over them. The grappling match and the MMA. What was it like being there as a fan and a supporter? Because there were Matt Factory people everywhere. And then what was it like having Gray Maynard in that Sunday morning time? 
So last weekend was so fun. It was so stinking fun. Um, in camp, it's like hard to, it's hard to find stuff that you can get out and do because you can't really like eat much and you can't really like be up late, you know, do whatever. But um, it, it was like super fun to go out there and like watch all my teammates compete last weekend. Um, Friday night, we had, we had a bunch of people Friday and then we had Patton on Saturday who did a great job and fought his heart out. All super proud of him. And um, Friday was, uh, I, I was backstage a little bit, like, you know, talking to Chris and talking to everybody. And it was just like chaos. It was like, we had somebody up every, every other person. And then if we didn't have somebody up, it was like one of my friends from Stout was up. And so it was, it was action packed for me. Um, I really enjoyed it. And all the matches that they put together were great. Um, I thought everybody was pretty evenly matched too. It was, there was like, they were all really, really good matchups. Um, and then of course, Isaac and Gray's match was completely action packed. I, I wish that match could have gone to 15 minutes. I would have watched that for forever. But um, I think, of course, Isaac, Isaac like meets somebody and then they're just his friend in like 10 minutes. I don't know. <laughs> but, but it was great for us. And he invited him in to, to train on Sunday and he ended up coming in and teaching us just for the hour and a half of, you know, just stuff that he knows and that he's learned in his martial arts journey, which was incredible because you know, he's, I watched him on TV. <laughs> so, so that was really nice. And it was, um, we didn't know he was going to do that until I think Saturday night. So it was like kind of late last minute, but, um, yeah, him and, uh, and Mando, I believe is the guy that he brought with him and they came in and gave everybody so, some work on Sunday. And it was, it was a great practice. It was a little bit different than our normal Sunday pace, like just because it was more technique based, mm. but, um, but yeah, I really enjoyed a lot of that. And I think that, I think that he taught me a lot of stuff that I will use going into this fight. I'm so glad that he came when he did. <laughs> yeah. That sounds like, that sounds like great. That sounds like great timing and maybe a little break from you having to match your heart rate on Sunday. So win, yeah. win, win, win. For and everybody. he's super nice. It's just, he's super nice. <laughs> yeah, super nice. And and the fighter he brought, it was uh, Mondo Gutierrez, who was just on the Conor McGregor series. He was on yeah. the Gregor team for uh the ultimate fighter and gray he and and gray well um mondo is part of it but gray has just started his own gym uh out there in michigan primed combat back in may so this is all pretty new to gray i was interviewing him on mma fancast about being a coach and i didn't realize how uh new it was for him kind of starting his own gym just back in may and then taking this match against uh, you know, against Isaac Greeley to come in and kind of, so it's been a whirlwind for him, a whirlwind for you. Very, very exciting, uh, exciting. And uh, Friday night was my first time calling, uh, you know, BJJ super fights. It was, oh, really? when, it was, well, yeah, it was just super. I mean, I've been around jujitsu. I've always enjoyed jujitsu, but as far as the intensity of being in the, like them performing in the cage one-on-one -on -one and not having like a tournament style, it was very unique and hats off to, Jim Mooney and everybody at 247 for like you said, I think they matched maybe 35 uh matches, but then it but then it dropped down like Chris's opponent dropped out sort of yep. last minute, a couple other, you know, that that'll happen. Um that but but everything was super, super um exciting. And now I know why we didn't get to see each other because there were 10 Mad Factory uh yeah. fighters on the card and 10 stout fighters. So, you know, yep. pretty much every event had one of them in it. So uh, for you, uh, you're going to be driving up. I believe this is a bit of a, you're going up to the Erie area, right? Is no, oh, this one's a Morgantown. That's right. That's right. <laughs> the waterfront. For some reason, my brain I was do. thinking the waterfront is Erie. But I think no, that's this, this weekend. They have this weekend in Erie. Oh, I love fighting in Erie though. The outdoor venue is awesome. <laughs> I was going to say, cause you even, you, you did, uh, you did a title yeah. fight up in Erie, I believe. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah, because I remember that that a couple of years ago. So okay, this is live cage fights down at the the waterfront. I was down there the last time that they had they had an event. So that is so that's like a, a home thing for you. I know you lived in Morgantown many years until you moved up to Pittsburgh. What's it like uh, going to be fighting in quite literally your back your backyard? Oh, I've been waiting to fight in Morgantown for since I started training. <laughs> Because, well, I, I started, so I started my training for anybody that doesn't know, um, in Morgantown out, down at Ground Zero Fighting Systems, which is maybe two miles away from the venue where I'm going to be fighting at. So, um, and I lived there for about 10, almost 10 years before I moved up here. Um, 
So like my my hometown where my parents live is a couple hours away from that, but it's still definitely I think it's probably the closest I'll ever fight to a home home. Mm. So um yeah, I think it's gonna be really, really fun to go back there. Um just because I tried to get on that card back, I think it was March for the last one they had, oh, and yeah, um fun. it just didn't work out, you know, how it goes. And uh, I got, got to go down and, and watch some teammates com, um, compete and that was good. But, um, going down there and being able to like fight in front of like, you know, my family and friends that can't always make it just because of, you know, they, they've all got families and lives and kids. And, and sometimes, you know, it's hard to get, it's hard to, for them to drive four hours to Erie from where they live. So, um, it's going to, I think it'll be, it, I don't know. I just think that like, I think that the crowd's going to be great. I think I'm going to, um, I'm going to really enjoy like getting to see all the people afterwards and uh Morgantown's just really got a special place in my heart. I feel like I did a lot of growing there. So I'm hoping, hoping to go back and do everybody proud. Well, that is kind of a, a, a perfect fun return trip to, to Morgantown for your home gym. I started interviewing you back when you were at ground zero as your primary gym before you moved up to Pittsburgh with the job change and, and, and all of that. So very exciting stuff. Um, I, I think, from what I remember of March 18th, the, the live cage fights were, were, was a great promotion. They did all MMA and then uh, one, one boxing for Kama, the Death Star Worthy. That was really cool. And Ethan Hayes, uh, a, a local guy. Yeah, he put on an absolute <laughs> main event. So it was just, it, it is a great venue. Uh, the, the Marriott, I, I think it's at the Marriott, the waterfront by Marriott. It's just an incredible venue. And we have to talk about this because of how much you love Cash, your your beautiful <laughs> dog. But last time we, we were talking at the waterfront at March 18th, and you showed me pictures of Cash literally living his best best life up <laughs> in, in a hotel. Is Cash making the return to his penthouse down? <laughs> so because you had told me there was a walking trail he was able to see. So he was mm -hmm. excited by the window looking at all the dogs going back and forth from his high roof. So <laughs> How excited is Cash about his return to the waterfront? Oh yeah, he was. We had him on the at the very tip top of the hotel, and he was looking out there on that to that water. The it's called it's the rail trail down there, and he could see those dogs, and he just like little teeny barks, but not really barking, just just enough to where like he was like, if they come up here, I'll tell them. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but um i don't know we'll we'll see if he makes it back chris and i have talked about it we might leave him with the rover we'll see because oh. i know but, well it we'll see i haven't decided yet because um he is allowed to stay up there but chris is like doesn't want me to be distracted so that yeah yeah th there is a difference from you being there last time as a fan and a supporter to you being there right. as a uh, as one of the main, as one of the main fights, according to the, sometimes the fight lineup ships a little bit, but it, it would look like you might be the co-main event. At least that's the way Tapology has it, but at least you're one of the, uh, yeah, you are the co-main event. What's it like? What's it like to be at that, at that billing for your hometown return? That's awesome. Yeah, that's, it's really cool. Um, I'm, I, I'm definitely excited about like being able to come back as a co-main event because beforehand like before I turned pro and if I would have fought in Morgantown back then I just would have been like somewhere on the undercard which is is cool it's still cool to fight you know there no matter what but um I feel like I really have a, a good opportunity to represent the area if I get to come back as the co-main event and so you know it puts a little bit more uh emphasis on your fight you get a little bit more exposure and um I don't know I just feel like I feel like I'm representing them well but Yes. Yeah, well, we'll see about Cash. He he probably will get to come at some point. We'll see. I, I love how your brain is now trying to figure out the question about Cash. You're like, yeah, it's great being coming to him, but now I got to figure out what to do with my dog. I know, I know. I'm like, I'm like, but he should be able to come because he's an integral part of my camp. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Well, I I I hope you and and uh, <laughs> your team gets Cash figured out. You do have two weeks. To go, I know it's going to be an incredible. I know it's going to be an incredible card, incredible event. Um, I'm hoping to hopefully be able to get down there and, and support you live because it is a great venue, yeah. a great location. So can't can't wait to see you back in the cage. Do you have uh, a list of uh, a list of gratitudes, people you want to shout out, give thanks to? And if you're not sponsored, this is the opportunity for me to shout out that local sponsors make a big difference for anybody's fight camp uh whether it's gear or nutrition stuff or um or obviously anything else so what 
who do you want to thank coming into this, uh, your second pro fight and really a- an exciting opportunity for you as co-main event for live cage fights at the waterfront two in Morgantown. Oh yeah. So, um, actually I did get some sponsors for this one. Usually, um, I don't always have some sponsors, but this time I was like, I'm a pro and I, <laughs> and I need to cover my expenses and until I'm, you know, getting paid the big bucks. So <laughs> I do have a bunch of people to thank in addition to, you know, friends and family and coaches, of course, uh, always, always thanks to them and thanks to God first and foremost. Um, but so I, um, silent victory is one of my sponsors. I want to thank, um, team Bruno. I wanted to thank go green who you are familiar with them. They sponsor a lot of stuff around here. Uh, I want to thank Mogis. He's, um, a local guy here in Burl, um, press house coffee over in Swickley. They, um, they make really, really great coffee. If you ever stop over there, use Matt 15 and try one of their coffees for 50% off. And WVRC is a radio, um, a radio station back from my hometown. They have been supporting me since day one. So um, they've been, I think Drew Miller is his name. He's been to, I think he's been to all my fights, except maybe one or two, but they, they like really have been like, and I'm, I'm excited to finally fight close to them for once, (laughs) but they've been there since, since day one. I really got big love for those guys. And I got one more that just now. Oh, and then Rip Security. And that's my last sponsor. And I think all of them um, it's really helping out with my travel expenses and, you know, all the blood work and labs and all that stuff we have to get done as fighters. So, yeah, thanks to all those yeah, guys. That's, that's incredible. I, I, I know it's a big step. And, and thanks for everybody that sponsored you and everybody in the future that may sponsor you. You, you brought up a, a couple of them saying that, uh, you know, th- that they're known from 247 as well, supporting 247. And and, and I think you kind of see some companies and I think it's great, you know, local companies that support a certain fighter, like some of the uh, sponsors are, are new to me on your list because they're, they're in your corner. They want to sponsor you. And then, which is great. I think that's super special. You know, individual relationships are so important. Then you also see from uh, sponsors that kind of want to sponsor a region like Pittsburgh and like an yeah. area. So, I think both are incredible. Either way, people want to sponsor, I think is is super special. And I'm, I'm glad you did that because there is kind of a business side of MMA, particularly when you're a pro, which isn't as exciting. It's not so bad. <laughs> it's not, but it's not so bad. Look at you. You got through it. You ripped the Band-Aid off. You're now a sponsored professional athlete. Look at you. You know, it's, it's, it's great stuff. Well, it's always wonderful having you on the show. It's been too long. It's always been fun catching up with you with local shows, 247 and other local shows. So... Uh, best skills to you in two weeks. Super excited that you're uh, co-main eventing down there. And uh, August 5th, two weeks away. Thanks so much for coming on the show. Enjoy. Thanks, Luke. Have a good day. Got it.